this PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. We're at the Legends Championship. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam and we're around the midway point of the season, Rich. Do you think the player has the FedEx Cup on their mind? Most definitely, they have to. The FedEx Cup Championship is the beginning of the end and they want to make sure not only that that top 125, but they have the opportunity to advance to the 70th and 30th spot. Right now, they're playing well, so it'd be a shock if they didn't make it. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. The second shot into the first. Yep, yeah, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. Remember, putting's a finesse game. Just three feet to the cup. Nicely hold, and for putter. She currently finds herself tied for 15th position. We have a par three on this one. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Did that look good for a long time? She's got this to save par here. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Now intrepid on course reporter John Stanley Bach. Playing their fifth shot. Uh. And hold it. That'll be for Bernie. This is. Awesome. Check this out. Opens the blade wide up, goes right underneath it, and finds the bottom of the cup. Bravo indeed, sir. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. We have a power of five here. Time to take advantage. Well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Time for the second shot into the field. That's some good golf right there. And here we are with the third shot. She's managed to find the grid on this approach. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance.
That wasn't your best effort, was it? Nine feet left to the hole. This is a good chance. And down she goes. And she'll stay right there at even par. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Quite often the hardest time in golf, a long par four. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh my! Right by the hole. You want to move into the top ten on the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this putt. Well done. Take the bird. Into the top ten she goes. Let's have a look at Ian Porter's effort from just a little while ago. This is how you do it, seven days a week. Nicely hold. After that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. This looks to be hitting for the cut stuff. Sitting at one under the car in a share of none. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. And coming up well short. Let's head out to the seventh hole. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, almost went in. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. And yeah, that'll promote a good move up the standings. And back to the course with the live action. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader. was that to going down and with that you can go and put a par on the card the leader now has a one stroke advantage this hole here is a par four
Well, it's a good risk from Hall and Hall. Looks like they're taking plenty of risk here, going for the green. Nicely. Oh, this would be a good putt to make. You'd move into the top five on the leaderboard. It's up, but it could be in. That's a great putt and an eagle as well. And that will take it at three under. She's in a share of third place. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Teeing off here at the seventh. Opting for the six iron. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Well, there's been highlights of plenty. How about what happened at the eighth? This is a superb shot from Patrick Cantlay. I've got to say, from that spot, that's exactly what they were trying to do. Well, oh, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? She's looking at about 21 feet to go. Ouch, that hurts. Second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it. Can you hold this? Yeah, it certainly makes party easier, doesn't it? And with that, she'll move to four under par. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Seems to have chosen the three. Wonderfully done. Make this putt. We'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. It was on a good line. This putt right on 10 feet. A good one to make. Well, oh, so close. Putting for bogey. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Just two shots back after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the turn of par four. Silly bogey at the last to see if they can bounce back after that. This looks to be a fair way seeker to me. Here's some action from just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Let's recap his fourth shot. Gotta say, I did not see that shot coming. Well done. Second shot here on the ninth. And here we are with the third shot. Only two shots off the pace.
Oh, you did a beauty, didn't you? You made this one. It's for par. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? Just one back right now, Luke, with nine to go. I got to say, can they overtake the leader? Let's find out. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Opting for the five iron. Yeah, that'll work, that's fine. Good chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. Get excited. This could go in. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that will take it to four under. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. And how about this shot from Patrick Cantwell? I got to say, this is a 10 on the scale. Great putt. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We have a par five on this one. That should find the fairway. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from just a short time ago. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. And down it drops. What a shot that was. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Only one shot off the pace. Well, this is bold. She looks to be going for the green here. Now, four under par. Time for second place. Ooh. Oh, that almost went in. Now we've got the birdie putt here. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Ooh, nice line. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. She's in a share of top spot. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. It's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? seeing stuff like that. It's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a power four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. In a house. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for Bernie. This one has eyes for the hole. Mark it down, that's Bernie number five. And with that, she'll move to six under par. And with that, she's now the sole leader in the event. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here.
Yeah, give me a second pat on the back. Uh, 13 footy coming up here. Hey, nice looking line. You just keep building a bigger advantage. Well played. And with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Coming off a string of four birdies. Well, I'm sure she'll take that one. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Gallant's attempt. Three feet to go here to the hole. Okay, let's head to the next. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Should limit the damage. Nicely done. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. We have a par of three on this one. Choosing the 9-iron here. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, I'm the 17th, guys. This is the Porter's next shot. Not easy coming out of the pine straw to get your feet to stay stable. This player does beautifully. Great shots. Chance to move to eight under here. This one's looking good. And the puck drops now at eight under, heading down the stretch. Just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. Now, two shots up after that one. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Team off here on the 16th hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. You should find the fairway. Taking aim from about 170 yards. That's a pretty handy shot. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick, ended up in the rough. That's an impressive little chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. That puts her in first place. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. 
This hole is a long par four. Good looking shot this. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Looks to be going with the six on it. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? She has this remaining for her par. I don't want to look at this. Well done. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Heading down Broadway. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. ready to play their third. Oh, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. But what an opportunity in front of her. This for the tournament. And down it goes. The victory for this player. Backing up the bridge truck once again this week. Filling it up. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Bean, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HP Studios, it's goodbye for now.